questions that we've all asked ourselves. Why are Venus and Uranus spinning in the wrong direction from all the other planets in our solar system? Two of these things are not like the others. Space offers plenty of mysteries for astronomers to solve, and there's one in our own solar system that's been unexplained for decades. Why are Venus and Uranus spinning in different directions to the other planets around our Sun? Venus spins on its axis from east to west, while Uranus is tilted so far over it's virtually spinning on its side. Every other planet, including our own, spins from west to east, and scientists have not figured out why. The planet should really be spinning the same way. Our solar system was formed by a collapsing rotating cloud of gas, and it's thought that the spin direction of most planets like Earth has been carried over from that ancient rotation. But Venus and Uranus are the exceptions. They have what's known as retrograde rotation, spinning counter to the rotation of the Sun. So how is that possible? That's not supposed to be happening. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. This is an image of Uranus that we see on its side. Now, one of the most long-standing hypotheses is that Venus and Uranus originally rotated counterclockwise, like Earth and the other planets still do, but then they were struck at some point by massive objects, perhaps other planets, that sent them spinning in different directions. You can imagine how that impact would have been uh, catastrophic to do, to do that to these planets. Now, in recent years, astronomers have looked for other explanations examining Venus and Uranus independently. In 2011, sim simulations suggested that a number of smaller collisions, rather than one big impact, knocked Uranus's spin to an angle of 98 degrees this could also explain why the planet's moons rotate at the same angle, something that would be unlikely if there were just one massive hit. An alternative explanation put forward by astronomers in 2009 is that Uranus once had a large moon, the gravitational pull of which caused the planet to fall on its side. Eventually, that moon could have been knocked out of orbit by another planet, a bit like a game of cosmic pinball. As for Venus, our closest neighbor, scientists have suggested that it started off rotating counterclockwise, then slowly down to the almost static before starting to spin clockwise like it does now. This might explain the planet's very slow rota rotation speed today. It takes Venus 243 days to rotate fully, but only 225 Earth days to orbit the Sun. So if you lived on Venus, your days would be longer than your years, and the sun would rise in the west. How does this happen to a planet? Astronomers think that the sun's strong gravitational pull on the dense atmosphere of Venus, the atmospheric tides that would create, and the tidal pulls from other planets could all have combined to reverse the planet's spin. This idea of tidal torques where the dense atmosphere on the warm, sun-drenched side of a planet is pulled away from the cold side is one of the most well-established explanations for Venus's retrograde rotation, along with a planetary collision. For now, though, no one's 100% sure what makes Venus and Uranus the odd ones out in our solar system's family of planets. Our next close look at Venus should come from a flyby with the Bepi Colombo probe which is eventually headed for Mercury and launched in 2018. That might also give us a new data to help solve the mystery, and we'll be watching closely. This is by David Neal, Science Alert, and it's on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support.